Hello, welcome to End Time Daily Watch. I'm Brother Zana David. Today, I want to talk about your survival is God's own responsibility. In the last video, I talked about how God is able to protect all these species and organisms, his creatures, from getting into extinction despite the harsh, unfavorable weather conditions, despite human uh, harmful interference with nature. Today, I want to bring to our notice again, God's, today, I also want to talk about God's own responsibility in preserving humans, specifically. Let's read Isaiah 41, verse 17 to 20. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the cedar tree, and the myrtle and the olive tree. I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together. This is God saying that when the poor and the needy seek water and there is none and their tongue fail for test. When their tongues fail for test, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the Lord, will hear them. I will not forsake them. Imagine a world where people live for maybe 2,000, 3,000 years and people start dying and it becomes so terrible for humans to survive, either because of human-to-human -human wickedness, either because of the harsh weather conditions, either because of satanic attacks, and then every human being goes into extinction. That will challenge the God that created the whole universe, because God has a timeline. There is a time for creation, the time God separated the earth, he divided the earth and caused confusion during the tower, the building of the Tower of Babel. And not just that too, there was a time that God gathered Israel together. He formed a nation, raised prophets to them, raised kings to them. And then Jesus Christ came and then the time of the Gentiles that the gospel should go to them, salvation should go to the Gentiles too. And also the time of the end, which is the time we live now. And when Jesus Christ is going to return in the rapture and then the tribulation and then Jesus coming again and establish 1000 reign on earth. Then the final judgment. We have the battle of Magdalene, the judgment. We have all these things, the timeline. So if every human being dies from the surface of, surface of the earth, either through war, nuclear, uh, bomb, whichever way, biological weapons, if every single human being dies from the world, or if the population gets reduced drastically to the point that only few human beings remain, that will challenge the word of God. I remember during the pandemic, the Lord told me and he said, I saw a book flit, like when a book is open and breeze blows across, blows over the book and the pages of the book flip. I saw it and the Lord said, what these people were planning to do is against my written word. I am going to stop them. The Lord asked me, he commanded me to go and deliver a message. I was afraid. And he said, 
deliver this message that I am interrupting. That was 2021. I am interrupting their process. I was afraid, so I decided to do a live video. Prophets fear sometimes. <laughs> I was afraid I did a live video, and I said, Thus says the Lord. And I made a declaration that people shouldn't be afraid. God said, he, he, God said he is interrupting the activities. I mean, the activities of the men of the underworld, the globalist. And I made a declaration. Listen, God has his own responsibility towards us. Don't be afraid. Who is man that God is mindful of him? Yes, he said, when the needy, when the poor and needy seek water and there is none, when their tongue faileth for test, when they are dying of hunger, he said, I, the Lord, will hear them. And because we hear them, even if the place they are, it's a desert place. He said, I will open rivers in high places. I will make wilderness a pool of water. He did it. When Hagar was running away, he did it. When Ishmael was to die, he did it. Hagar prayed. God heard the cry of the baby. It was the mother that prayed, but the Bible says God heard the prayer, the cry of the baby. The weak one who couldn't express himself, God heard. God hears us. He knows your needs. So when Jesus said, don't be worried. If God takes care of the best of the earth, he is going to take care of you. Look at verse 20. I purposely did not read verse 20 because I want to read it later. Uh, Isaiah chapter 41, 20. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and the Holy One of Israel had created it. Please pick up your faith. I know Things are difficult. Things are difficult. People are managing to survive. But God is aware. God knows there is inflation. God knows how to keep those who fear him alive. God knows how to keep you. He knows how to provide. But there are times he keeps quiet and watches to see how you're going to react. He watches you to see if you're going to apply faith. Sometimes he just keeps quiet during the time of test and tries to see if you are going to put your hand into doing evil. If things never go bad, your faith will never be put to test. And until your faith is put to test, the amount of love you have for God can never come into display. It is in the face of trial, you know that you really love your spouse. When the one you say you love is sick, when the one you say you love is having financial difficulties, when there are scandals everywhere, that is when your love will be put to test. So don't boast of that love. For God, for your spouse, for your loved ones, until that love has passed through the fire of temptation. It is only then you can say, I love this person. I love my husband. I love my wife. And when they ask you, how do you know that you love this person? You can then bring your evidence, the evidence of your perseverance, the evidence of your care, your love, when they couldn't provide, when they couldn't love you back, it is then you can say, I did it. When they couldn't provide, this is it. The same thing too. God watches us to see how much we love him in the face of scarcity. 
Please put your trust in God. Put your hope, your trust in God. For he cares for you. This message is for someone. If you feel this message has blessed your life, please share this message to someone. And also subscribe to this channel, The Narrow Ways Christ for All Nations. Thank you and God bless you. Let me pray with you. Lord, I pray for these ones that you increase their faith, strengthen their faith, help them in times of trial, provide for them, show up, O oh Lord, so that they would know that you are the God that created them, the God of the whole universe, who is able to provide for the poor and needy, even when their tongue faileth for test. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please share this video with someone. God bless you. Bye-bye.